Hi everyone, in this video we are going to introduce you to the single and archive groups of settings of the Uncode theme options. Let's discover the differences between the single and archive settings and how to edit them to modify the single and archive templates. In the single group, there are the settings to modify the single templates. In a nutshell, these are the settings to modify a blog article, a normal page, a portfolio project page, or a product single page. In the archives group, there are the settings to modify the archives templates. These are also commonly referred to as WordPress category pages. As you can see, each of these groups are divided into options that identify the various parts of the page, such as menu, header, content, sidebar, and footer. Let's take a practical example and change the layout of our single blog posts. Please go to the single post options, because this is the corresponding post type. Otherwise, go in the page or portfolio option based on the post type you need to modify. I have here created two different blog posts with a pretty standard layout, comprised of a header and a content area. Let's start by modifying the header layout. In another dedicated video, we explore advanced settings like the content block that makes possible to create replicable sections of content with a page builder to be used as a matrix to style our pages. But for now, I chose the basic header mode. I apply some changes like modify the header height, the heading font size, and the overlay color to 20%. OK. I save theme options and refresh the pages to preview the result. As we can see, they've all been modified thanks to the theme options. Pretty good. Now let's edit the content group. In this group of settings, it's possible to modify aspects of the content area. In this case, I want to narrow the width of the contents to 800 pixels to make the article more elegant and readable. I save theme options, and I go to refresh the page. Perfect. As you can see, the modifications have been applied and the layout is now bold and minimal. Please note the size of the contents area. I refresh the page, and now is 800 pixels. Very clean and modern combination. Now let's make a radical change to the layout. In fact, I want to create a super minimal layout. I disable the header and fix some options in the content group. For example, I activate the title in the content part of the page and the feature image. I save theme options and refresh the pages to preview the result. Great. Look at the change that was created in just a few clicks, and it's applied to all the posts. Now that we've seen the single group, we can move on to the archives group. As suggested by the name, in this group there are settings to modify the WordPress archives or category pages. In this case, I edit the posts option to modify the category page of the blog. I've opened here two category pages, the Travel and Lifestyle Archives, that we are now going to modify. I open the header settings. I chose Basic, since we will talk about the advanced content block method in a dedicated video. I make some changes both to the header group, modifying some options such as header height, the heading font size, and the overlay and to the Content Options group, here I modify the limit width and the thumbnails width. I save theme options, I refresh the pages, perfect! Our category pages have been modified and the layout is cool.